case in which we attached a floating number with this uh, condition terminal. We attach a floating number. Floating numbers is what? That is a real number. It means user, user can enter any number. For example, 1.2, 2.4, 6.8. It can be any number. Okay. So what is happening here? This is an input by the user to select the case. And then the user is also asked to enter two numbers. Enter first number, enter second number. And what is happening? In this case, in the first case, which is also the default case, what is happening? These two numbers are adding up. And the result is displaying out. Okay. And there's an error uh, string as well. Uh, this is error string indicator. So in this case, there is no error. So that's fine. So we just connect a empty string constant with that one because there cannot be any error with the plus case. So now we will go to the next case, which is the subtract case. So subtract case is the second case. All other things will remain the same. Nothing will happen except for this function. So now instead of using the plus function, we will use that minus function. So in the next one, what we have, we have a multiply case or third case, third case. So in third case, everything else is the same. What will happen instead of minus, we will use this multiply function. Rest of the things are the same. So this case will execute when the user enters three from uh, this case selector input. So this is the fourth case, which is the Devian case. Okay. So everything is same except for this, this area. So now if a user enters zero against second number, so it means that the result of Devian will not be calculated because you will get infinity. So what will happen? So if a user enters zero, so this is a condition. If this is yes, this is a uh, this is a function which will which we will uh, discuss in the lab view. So uh, this is a condition. If that condition is true, if means if one is traveling out of this equal sign, what will happen? This constant will go out of this function and will be displayed in this error indicator. And if this is false, what will happen? empty string constant will travel and will be displayed here. So this is the front panel. This is the front panel. So first of all, look at this one. So user has to enter the first number. Then user has to enter the second number. What else? User then user has to select the case. So there is a there is a instruct. There are some instructions for the user. For example, enter one for addition, enter two for subtraction, enter 3 for multiplication, enter 4 for division. Okay, so if user enters 3.6, so what will happen? It will be rounded, it will be rounded to 4 and 4 is division. So what is happening? These two are dividing. So these two are dividing and you are getting infinity because this is 0 and you are getting an error message. Please enter. This is not entered. This is please enter number other than zero as second number. You will not get this message in other cases. Okay, so now we will do it in live view. Okay, so once again, we have to go to the file menu, open new VI, front panel to the left, block diagram to the right. So first of all, we need to add a case structure. Okay, so by default, what is happening? We have a Boolean case structure. So now we need a what? We need a numeric control. Okay. So this is a numeric control. And when we attach this numeric control to this one, what is happened? So this case is changed. Now we are getting zero and one. So we need to modify that one also. Okay. So this is what? This is case selector or condition terminal. Okay. So what else? We need two more. We need two more controls and one indicator. Okay, that's good. So this is number one. And this is number two. And this is what? This is the result. 
so now we will modify this is number one this is number two and this is result okay case selector mein hum isko mazi instruction dete hain one for add two for subtract three three for multiply four for division okay what else okay so now we want this first case to be default case so what we will do there is error but we will take care of that one so we will right click by selecting after selecting this first case what we will do we will right click and make this case make this case, make this the default case okay so now one is the default case for example if user enter any other number any number other than 1 2 3 4 then what will happen the two numbers will be added since we don't we are not using this zero case what we will do we will select this one right click and delete this case okay so now we need uh, how many three more cases case 2 for subtract case 3 for multiply and case 4 for division so right click add case after add case after add case after okay so now we have to go to the first case which is the default case and now we have to add some mathematical operations mathematical functions so this is the plus 1 here we have to use the negative in the third one we have to use multiply and in the fourth one we have to use divide okay so now we have to connect the input numbers with these functions and connect the output of this function with this result what's this three okay so we will do the same for these uh, other cases okay so so these are the four cases which we just which we just uh, created okay so for the fourth one this is the fourth one for that one we need a error message as well so what we will do we need what we need a string indicator so for that one we will go to the front panel right click and we will go to this category string and path and select click a uh, string indicator so this is the string indicator we put it upside okay so what i just did is i attached a string indicator with this one and now what i have to do i have to compare this second number with zero if this number is equal to zero what should be displayed an error message should be displayed should be displayed here so what i will do i will right click on the front or oh, sorry i will right click on the block diagram then i have to go to the comparison in comparison i have to select two options number one is equal and the other one is what this select option this select function so these are the two functions which are selected so now now i have to connect this number 2 with this equal function and create a constant which is zero okay so if user enter zero against number 2 what will happen one will travel out of this equal function one will travel out of this equal function okay so we have to connect two either controls or uh, constants or anything with this terminal so this is the Uh, condition and these are the two results if that condition is tr uh, true what will happen that true will travel out of this function if that condition is false or you are getting zero what will happen the false condition will travel out of this function so now we need what we need to right click on the front panel we need to go to the string and select string constant okay so this is a string constant 
so the message should be please enter other than zero against number two okay so this is the message which we want to display when user enter zero as number two so we will just connect this one with the true case and we need to connect the false case as well so we need another another one so this is false case it means if the number 2 is not equal to 0 what will happen nothing will be traveled or this uh, empty constant will travel and nothing will be displayed on this string this function needs three inputs that's why so we will connect this one and we are still getting the error why because let's see nothing is connected here that's why we are getting the error nothing is connected here that's why we are getting the error nothing is connected here so that's why we are getting there so now what we have to do we have to attach empty string constants with that string indicator as well so we will once again right click on the uh, on the block diagram we will go to the string category and select this string constant we will just paste and then connect we will now copy it and we will do the same in the other cases as well it's a bit tricky okay okay so so this uh, solid arrow means there is no error if this is broken arrow what does it mean it means there are some errors when you click on that broken arrow what will happen you will see a list of errors and uh, you can you can rectify those errors to get the program run okay so we need to add a loop so we will go to structures while loop this is loop we need to add a control this is a control we will drag it here and uh, what we will do we will increase the font size so that it can be easily viewed and then we will align them okay see so now the result is very much clear so now we will run this program so instead of this string what should be entered error message okay and we should increase the length of this one so that the whole message can be displayed okay so we will run it so first of all what we have to do we have to select the case for example i enter 3 and press enter nothing is displayed now i have to enter two numbers for example 3 and 7 and press enter so see this is the result 21 so now instead of 3 i enter what 1.3 so 1.3 is equal to what equal to 1 so now these are adding what about 1.5 so this is equal to 2 so that's why we are getting minus 4 okay so now we will go to the fourth case division and enter 0 as number 2 so you see there is a message there is an error message please enter other than 0 against number 2 so if if you uh, enter the correct uh, inputs then there is nothing dis nothing is displayed in the error message so this message will only appear when you enter when you select the division case number one and when you enter zero as number two after selecting the division option so now what we will do we will replace we will replace this floating number with what with an integer so that user can enter only whole numbers like 1 2 3 4 so in this case uh, there will be no confusion on the end of the user whether that point 5 will be rounded off to the next value or to the previous value so this is the easy way out which is you just add a, a integer instead of a floating number so we will do it okay so you can see that in this vi everything else is the same 
we have the same cases the only thing which is changing is this control which is this one this one is changing this is mathematic mathematical operation selector so only this one is changing we just change the type of this condition terminal from the floating number to the integer so now when we run this program you can only add if you enter like 3.4 it will be automatically converted to 3 because you cannot enter a real number real number or floating number or decimal number so if you enter 2.5 what will happen it will be rounded to 2 if you enter 2.51 it will be rounded to 3 so in this way we can convert or we can remove or we can actually uh, prevent the user from confusion